All right, YouTube. Today we'll be installing these. Our V-Land RGB headlights that are supposed to be compatible with 2011 through 2014 Dodge Chargers. Mine are ripped out, so I don't really have a video on how to take out the headlights. There are many videos that will show you, but there are four mounting bolts. I believe they're eight millimeter, eight millimeters each. You take those out, the old lights had no headlights come out. These ones got broke off, so this is why I have to replace mine. I hit a deer, so this was the only one that was holding the headlight in. But let's get into this. So this is what the packaging is gonna look like. When you get them, that's gonna come out. And this is what, so what the assembly looks like. Let me get out this plastic and I'll show you. These are what the headlights look like. You can't obviously see them that well because of this, this plastic film that's over it. But these are VLANs, the headlights. <clears throat> Those are their special headlight bulbs that you have to get for another $50. But I will be installing these and showing you how to put these in here. Because there's not that many videos that show you how to do this. This first major cap that's in here. On the left, you're gonna take this out. This is gonna be all the wiring and everything. Make sure you don't damage that. This is gonna be this green clip in here. This green clip, you're gonna to wanna to take this out. You turn it left until you can pull it out because these two hooks, there's two hooks on the bottom of this that will slide out from these two little indents. And then from there, you take it out. You can push this pin in and open it. This little pin right here, well not even a pin, this little plastic piece goes in here and it clamps it to there. It's a very simple design, opens up, whatever, and then you pushes it back in there. You gotta be careful because I kind of did break this one a little bit because you gotta pry it out because it is really hard to get out but this is the main component that you need in order to get your headlight bulbs in there so once again you'll take this cap off again you're just gonna twist it to remove it and then pull these apart and then it'll come out and then you'll come over here grab your headlight bulbs okay so once you get your hid lights out you'll be careful with it this right here is the bulb, <clears throat> if it'll focus, that's the bulb. And this little brown, black, whatever you want to call it, there's a little piece right here that's like a little return line. And what you're gonna want to do is be very careful with it. And inside of here, there's a little notch. This little notch right here, it goes like that how it like waves this way and then it'll bump out that way and then it continues to be a circle. That little bump is how you want to insert this little brown rod into there. You will insert it like this into there. Very carefully push this in it'll clip in and then with these <clears throat> from my understanding of why it's not making not uh, it's working for me it's not working for me because there are these two little nubs right here this little green one well this fatter green one right here and this little green one these two are not allowing it to clamp onto that and secure it in so you can take a knife and carefully cut these off without cutting yourself preferably utility knife stanley knife whatever you want to call them cut those cut these little nubs off and i'll show you what it looks like when i'm back here in a second all right if it'll focus this is what it looks like now there was a nub right there and there was a nub right there both the nubs are relatively gone <clears throat> so now what, what you can do 
And you'll go back in here, this clamp, close this clamp. What you're gonna wanna do now, is take these little metal hooks like this, no, not metal, these plastic hooks on each side. There's two on each side. You'll go on this and there's two little indents on each side as well. So you'll have an indent up here and one right here and the one down here, well, two down there. You're gonna take these hooks, you're gonna push them in to those little indents and then turn it until you can't turn it no more. And that is what locks that light in. That's how you get those lights in. And you'll take these right here. These are what connect to straighten out these wires. And then you're gonna go in here to find this right here. It's a red and green, I think. Where's it at? Where'd it go? Not that one. Oh, right over here. It's tight, it'll be tucked off to the side. It looks like this. It has black and green wires coming from it. What you'll do is black, the black wire will go to black and the red wire will go to green. So, these two wires right here with these prongs on them, that's what go to these. So, this, the black one, the black wire with the little spatula on the end, whatever you want to call it, prong, probe, whatever, will go to this with the black one. Like that. Then you're gonna flip it over to this side and plug the red one into the green one. Got that. This red one is gonna go into that green one. Just like that. So red's the green. Red's the green, black's the black. Then you're gonna shove this piece back inside. Now, it'll have this little rubber grommet on here. All this other crap's supposed to be inside and all this comes out. So you'll take your cap and you're gonna take all of these wires and shove it through this little hole. Your external wires out. And you want your internal wires in there. You're gonna to wanna to take this rubber that rubber piece and bring it up and shove it through there. There will be lips on that end and lips on this end sticking out. And then you just screw this back on. And then you're almost ready to go. You're going to either use this little green box or these ones that were provided with it. Alright, so basically this one which is going to be your idle these are your idle lights it goes to this so you'll just take this plug it into here plug this wire into here plug that wire into there and then you will take this one just for your main your main light so you plug this one into here that until you hear it click and these are your turn signals this big old one right here is your turn signal this last wire comes out and it'll go into here see if i can get me putting it in pause right here and clip in you'll take that one that you just had the turn signals for you'll shove the wires in Push it all the way in and turn it right. <clears throat> turn it this way until it locks in. The same with your idle lights. You'll push the wires in. And the whole arm, you'll stick all this in. If 
find the groove that it goes in at and then it'll lock in this one you don't have to lock in and then with these separate wires what you do is you take it take this you'll take these blue ones connect it to the smaller ones right here these smaller ones <clears throat> These two smaller ones. Let's see if I can get a light. These two smaller ones right here, you're going to connect them to this. Sorry about the lighting. It's six o'clock, and I'm trying to do this in a rush because I got to hurry up and get to work. But you push this in like this to that larger one. Male to female, female to male. This is the male. The wider one's the female. Push this in like this. <clears throat> then you take the, the larger one that has a yellow ring around it. And you shove it into this bigger one. It's on this end. Alright, so basically now that you have all of this connected. This will get connected with this. This green box right here, it's, this wider end gets connected to that. And these little white, these little blue ones get connected like that. So now you just shove that off to the side back here, somewhere up and out of the way. And you stick your headlight in and it just mounts to the OEM bolts. When you're sticking this in, pause. You gotta watch out for. You gotta make sure that little that little part right there gets shoved in like this. And you gotta make sure everything lines up fine and like that. It'll seat in there properly. Now you just start sticking bolts in. All right. Now you're done with that. You get the little little peel. Close your knife, or whatever you got open. Get all this out of the engine bay. It seems like to act like it's fucking dead, I don't know why. Put the headlights on. They're on. Feature. Can't go ahead and change it while I'm on my phone, but there you go. That's how you do that. It's not the best, really. It's not the best video entirely, but it's more information than there is on YouTube about them. So go ahead and drop a follow, like, like, subscribe, whatever. Here, I'll even throw on the hazards for you so you can even see the turn signals. Got them pulsating left and right. And go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys need to see next. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Man, I think that's a cop. Hold on. And I was right. That is a cop. Now don't do this, children. Don't drive while you're trying to record. Alright, hell that head. Alright, this is what they're at like night. This is what they're like at nighttime. Pretty bright. This is standard right here.